It's been 4 months since I got my Lenovo ThinkPad T480, a very affordable laptop these days but with enough power for my projects and schoolwork. I'm currently studying computer systems engineering and over these 4 months I've worked on projects documentation, a small database connection, using Java, Postgres SQL, MySQL, Python, HTML and PHP for local server setups with Shamp as well as electrical circuits in Multisim and occasionally I've done some simple video editing for TikTok. All of this is possible thanks to its specs, which is a 16-inch display, black lighting keyboard, 8-gen Core E5, 60GB RAM and 256GB SSD. And I got up this for just around 250 bucks around, which is incredibly cheap for a laptop that handles all these tasks flawlessly in 2025. So this is going to be my quick review and experience with a ThinkPad T4 Airy in my day to day as my main computer for schoolwork. So I hope you like it and just let's get started. Compared to my old 17.5 inch laptop, the 60 inch display is much more comfortable, smaller and lighter for daily backpack carry. It might not sound like a huge difference, but trust me, it is. Programming on this laptop is smooth. Just two months ago, I developed a sales system proposal with a GUI and Postgres SQL database connection for a school project. Using multiple Java classes, testing the interface while the database was active, and even connected to a secondary monitor, I never experienced any lag. Desktop transitions were always fluid. So let's talk about a keyboard. And seriously, finding a keyboard this good for under 250 it is impossible. I mean, it's so comfortable that it makes you want to keep coding. And for those late night finishing documentations, the black lighting is a lifesaver in low light conditions. It's easily one of the best laptop keyboards out there today, in my opinion. So, in battery life, I mean, with programs like IntelliJ, Visual Studio Code, or Multisim, depending on the project's demands, the battery usually lasts 4 to 5 hours. That's because, being a budget friendly model, it only comes with the internal battery and not the external one, which can be found on Amazon for around 40 bucks. However, a downside is that the video editing drains it faster lasting just 2-3 to three hours, which is pretty short for a laptop meant for long work sessions. Talking about work sessions, I usually prefer work unplug on my setup, but when I do connect it, there is one issue, and the HDMI port is on the right side, and its position makes the cable get in the way of my mouse, so this forced me to use a trackpad which isn't a problem since it's a better responsive and comfortable for multitasking across desktops, but I still think that the HDMI placement was a poor design choice, especially for an office-focused laptop. The reason I like to work with only my laptop is because the 60 inch display is comfortable enough for the school or places without a secondary monitor, the brightness is good and the anti glare coating lets you work easily in bright environments. I mean, color construct is decent, though a 1080p screen, the image isn't that sharpest and colors feel a bit muted overall. As I mentioned earlier, the battery life for video editing is limited, but it's still functional and practical. In fact, part of this video was edited on this laptop during free time at university or when I'm away from home. From my own experience, the workflow is very smooth, there's no lag when cutting clips, adding iMatch or inserting extra footage. I mean, this device can handle basic to send me and binds editing projects without issues. 
That's why I use Filmora 10 as my editing software since it's a lightweight and yet packs enough tools for everything I need on the laptop. And just to mention, this is not a sponsor, it's just my real opinion and what I use to create my videos. So let's talk about gaming. I mean, not its focus, but it can handle some. While this laptop isn't designed for gaming, it can run a few titles on low settings at 30 FPS. I mean, I try to keep it focused on productivity and schoolwork, as well as studying, but I've installed some basic games of my list that are non graphically demanding games for those hours when the time seems to crawl. Let's talk about Windows, and the Windows 11 surprisingly smooth. For a device release in 2018, the upgrade to Windows 11 has been shockingly hassle-free. It runs flawlessly, and I can switch between desktops, use apps, or browse the web without hiccups. There's no driver issues, no random crashes, and no errors from my software. Even thermos are solid. I've never experienced overheating, and the fans do get audible under load but they're generally quiet, and when you dip into a project, you won't even notice them. In conclusion, I can say that the Lenovo ThinkPad T480 is a fantastic option, especially if, like me, you're on a tight budget, because you could get a laptop powerful enough that you can also upgrade the RAM and add another SSD, and also, it will work for basic tasks like, you know, Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Notepad, browsing the web like, you know, using social media, streaming on YouTube, Netflix, Maps, and handling multiple Chrome tabs at once. But also, goes a step further because you can edit in videos, a likely game, and in my case, programming, and all for just 250 around. So now I'd love to hear you from you in the comments, like what do you think about this laptop? It is good fit for your needs? If you already own or have test one, share your experience and what do you use it for? And would you still recommend it today? So that's all for me now and see you in the next video. Thank you so much and bye bye.